people who like theater for young audience should definitely come. And I think theater for young audience as a concept need to be ex expanded because I think theater audience should be fun for both kids and adults. So adults should come too. Um, I just want to say that this story, although it's a coming of age story of this nine-year-old little girl, it's also about the other characters and each character has a, a lot of personality and has their own storyline. For example, the grandma, for example, the mom, for example, the bird columnist uh, that a little Zhigong loves reading. Um, and for example, the adult uh, version of our protagonist, uh, for example, the cat hamster, like you even get to know about the the origin story and the whole story of a little hamster and and there's also uh, a dialogues of of uh, this two passengers on the bus and so it's not a classic one act or three act play uh, I would say it's more like a photo album or a constellation um, with many moments and many characters um, that's has that's that's connected by a central theme um, and they're all in this photo album where you can just flip through and you're like oh wow this scene this this scene is the style is over exposed um, and this scene is more saturated color and this scene is kind of it's intimate and it's a little bit sad and it, it, this and this this photo uh has a, a lot of puppets in it so you're just like flipping this album i'm sure one of the picture will hit you <laughs> genuine answer is um i think this is a very private story um that is universal in its theme and i believe that people will find um moments in this play that will truly impress them and live with them ap even after they leave this theater Hi, my name is Gefei Liu. If you want to learn more about my play Birds and the Curiosity, written by me and Olivia Xing, please check out this video. Hi, I'm Olivia Xing. I'm the director and playwright for the new theater for audience in AAPI piece Birds and the Curiosity, Niao Yu Hao Qi Hao. It's a coming of age story of the nine-year-old Chinese girl and her time-traveling future self and many birds and a singing hamster. Hmm, want to know more? Come see our show. The idea come from a talk was between me and my co-writer and she was talking, Gafei was talking about how like sometimes she just think about the issue that she has now and start blaming on her childhood. It's a thing we all do, you know? We're like, this happened because this happened in the past. So now I'm this. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not um uh, doing this right now because I never was able to do this or like it, it it's a it's limiting though and it's not being present so we're like 
what if this adult has the same problem as we have? We're like, well, all our problem is because something we experienced in our childhood. But like, what if this adult go back to childhood and realize, oh, I can, instead of helping her, I can actually learn more from her. Like if, actually I possess all the qualities in my authentic self and I forgot them on the way of growing up. And I, I wasn't this unfortunate ch child. I had the support of my family and friend. Um, also, I'm speaking this in the individual cases. I'm not it's just, when I say we, it's like the playwright. I'm not saying everyone had a happy childhood with support of family, friends. Um, but I am, I, I do want to say that um, how to survive our childhood now that we're an adult, it's not about blaming the childhood uh being obsessed with what had happened it's about being present and so the protagonist the 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 future the adult self the adult version of our protagonist travel back and and then then travel back to her present time and 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 started to think that the way I survived my childhood, as a, now that I'm an adult, it's to be an adult and to be myself and love who I am, find who I find who I am and love who I, who I am, and and move forward instead of go moving backwards. So we wrote like two, three, many versions of this story. There's a few of them, a few of them, the earlier stages of this story, it's told from this adult perspective, looking back to childhood. And they were like, no, 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 no. It's not, wait, wait, but, but this, has she figured out? She, she figured out where, where is she going to go? And, 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 but we honestly we we don't really know we don't really know yet uh, and because this is this piece is really personal we want to stay true because we haven't figured it out we're still 20 something year old <laughs> we're like oh, we could write it's from the how we were how we felt and the emotion the 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 the, the ecstasy and as well as the calamity we felt as a kid for tiny little things from um sharing a snack uh to 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 like losing a favorite sticker and just like this tiny little thing cre creates such huge emotion in us and we're like we remember all of that we could write all of that and and we could let the younger self teach the adult self something. The themes are multiple, but I think the most important one is um, to find your authentic self. Mm -hmm. And other um, minor themes include um, a children's um, creative agency and the loss of um your loved ones um and um and also um how to accept yourself as you are why it's my uh, puppets marionettes are better actors it's because they have no ego um and it's true they do things because they do things and they don't really care how their hair look like and a lot of human actor can't do that me included <laughs> it's, it's uh, we just naturally we just we always carry a ego puppets don't and when i'm manipulating puppet i sort of let down let go of my ego too because, you know, people are not looking at you. People are looking at the puppet. So now with this piece, Birds and the Curiosity, why do we want to include puppets in this piece? Because it's uh, 
it's really about this nine-year-old girl going through her life and encounter some calamity in the first time. Bullying, body image issue, can't fit in a, a piece of costume. Um, why, why, is my, why are my friends laughing at me? Why did Nana pass away? And why is my pet hamster also going to die? At some point, and why do I have? Why do people have to leave? Why do I have to lose things? Why can't I be happy all the time? But she's dealing with such a childish, and innocent, and 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 joyful and hopeful way. Like she, like when she she's she she feels caged because <clears throat> the Chinese teacher me spies control. So she, at the at the day. She saw ostrich free running on the highway, and that's is it imagination or is it real? We don't know. But that's how kids in, see the world, right? They see the possibility of the world, and they see they see it was was you could say unfiltered, or was a filter that makes it even more true. To how the world should be experienced, um, it's just like we we wanted to free. It is like the wonder, the wonderment. It's so important to um, this piece. So we thought, oh, you know what? A bit. We can't hire a real ostrich at ostrich, <laughs> uh, but we could make a giant. Full body puppet. That's a shiny ostrich that walk through the aisle of the audience. So it's made to make it just a little bit more immersive. And so the audience is invited to little robins, little chickens, part of the world, and how audience see how she see the world. That we're audience is not caged. Where the hamster is. Hamster, my hamster is singing, and where, where um, where the, what else do where where there's like. After Nana, after Nana died, a, a bird visited us, and it sort of sound like Nana, um, so. It's it's about again it's about dealing trauma, um, but you know theater has. Always have a, a a a a soft way to deal with trauma. Um, it's just it's magic, um, and also there's a toy theater section in the play. That is um about uh an adaptation of Ugly Duckling. This Ugly Duckling kind of gives teaches kids a wrong message. Like you couldn't bully someone because what? Because they will turn into a beautiful white swan. No, it's just you should be kind to someone no matter how they look. And you know what? It's okay to just be ugly duckling because it's not about being ugly. It's it's just ugly duckling is not ugly. It's ugly duckling just looks different from the brother and sisters. And it's okay to be different. Don't have to be one. So the story of ugly duckling should be about discovering who you are and who you always have been. You don't have to have a magical makeover or transformation. And so our nine-year-old protagonist rewrite the story in the play. So it's a play in a play and put on this little toy theater with her, two of her best friend. Uh, that's about ducklings. And they learn about each other and they learn about how everyone's different from one another, which makes us all the same. I think I want the audience um, when they when they are when they are walking out of the theater. I want them to feel like, "Wow, this is theater." <laughs> I this sounds a little bit ambitious, but I want to redefine theater for them to make them feel like, "Oh, theater isn't just Shakespeare. Theater isn't just serious, expensive stuff. The theater is accessible. It's fun." What I want the audience to get out of this production 
is um, some laughs, some um, some 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 um, other emotions, <laughs> some laughs. Uh, what I want my audience to get out of this piece is uh, an experience that make them kind of ha sometimes happy, uh, sometimes moved, sometimes kind of sad, but eventually some hopes. Um, and to all the kids that will see the show, I want to say you if anyone can overturn this capitalist and hierarchical and uh, bad bad <laughs> theater system <laughs> this, um, and make more experimental and beautiful and heartfelt pieces is the young is the next generation and honestly not only in theater I hope you can the kids will see this play and feel like I could change the world and I hope the adults see this play and feel like I can still change the world <laughs> I'm really looking forward to hear some feedback from the audience, um, especially um, the kid. The kids. We're now marketing the show as a family-friendly uh, show, and there will be a lot of kids coming to see our show. And this is quite a new experience for me because this is like my first kids-friendly show, and I think they will have some. Um, completely different reaction than adults, and that will be that will be fun. People who like theater for young audience should definitely come. And I think theater for young audience as a concept need to be ex expanded because I think theater audience should be fun for both kids and adults so adults should come too what else i just want to say that this story although it's a coming of age story of this nine-year-old little girl it's also about the other characters and each character has a, a lot of personality and has their own storyline for example the grandma for example the mom for example the bird columnist uh, that a little jigong loves reading um and for example the adult uh, version of our protagonist uh, for example the cat hamster like you even get to know about the the origin story and the whole story of a little hamster and and there's also uh, a dialogues of of uh, this two passengers on the bus and so it's not a classic one act or three act play. Uh, I would say it's more like a photo album or a constellation um, with many moments and many characters um, that's has that's that's connected by a central theme um, and they're all in this photo album where you can just flip through and you're like oh wow this scene this the scene is the style is over ex, uh, exposed, um, and this scene is more saturated color, and this scene is kind of it's intimate and it's a little bit sad, and it, it, this and this this photo uh, has a, a lot of puppets in it, 
So you're just like flipping this album. I'm sure one of the picture will hit you. <laughs> Genuine answer is, um, I think this is a very private story um, that is universal in its theme. And I believe that people will find um, moments in this play that will truly impress them and live with them af even after they leave this theater. Hi, my name is Gefei Liu. Um, my play, Birds and the Curiosity, written by me and my friend Olivia Xing. There will be shadow puppets, a giant ostrich, a hamster singing, and a lot of other fun stuff happening in this show. Um, it's family friendly, but it's also welcoming all age audiences. Um, you will laugh for sure. You will probably cry a little bit if you're emotional. Um, but anyways, um, it is a story that I believe should be heard by everybody. And please come to see Birds and the Curiosity. See you at the theater. Hi, I'm Olivia Singh. I'm the director and playwright for the new Theater for Audience and API piece. Birds and the Curiosity, Niao Yu Hao Qi Hao. It's a coming of age story of the nine year old Chinese girl and her time traveling future self and many birds and a singing hamster. Hmm. Want to know more? Come see our show. <laughs>